Hello everyone, and finally in this video we're going to work with the views for the um, user authentication system and yeah so um, the first thing that we need to do, well let's go to our views, right? Um, so here, let's create a new view um, the first thing that we need to do I mean, when you want to create is a sign up so the user can like actually sign up to our website. Um, let's go for request that method equals post. Remember that's coming from our um, forms. So um, here form will be equal. Well, first we need to import the form. Um, from oops from authy that forms import um let me check yep sign up form right um oops be equal to sign the form that request I mean request Oh, that post. Okay. If form it's valid, username will be equal form dot clean data dot get username email form that clean data get email password that form that clean data get password so this this is the these are the names of the input so remember you have to like match it so we get all of these User dot objects dot create underscore user, and now here we just pass the value username. Oops, username will be username, email, email, password, password, right? Yeah, and um, let me check. Let's go to the templates, registration, sign up. Let me see. Login, sign up. Yeah, let's um, email. Let's actually, let me see. Because I'm like, mm, we can do that. I mean, it's first name. Let's add the first and last name, okay? First name. First name. Last name. Last name. Last name save it's close and then here we can just sign up after the email first name that's the line 50 Now we realize that we can just put it there, so yeah, let's just do it. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. First name. Mm -hmm. 
transform that clean data that Okay, first name, last name, password, la, 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 la. And here, first name, oops. First name will be equal to first name. And last name, last name. Okay. Okay, we recreate the user. Let's go here. And then we, um, let's return after we create, let's create it egg. Oh, we need to import redirect. Render, redirect here. Redirect. And then we redirect the user after the sign up. Um, let's edit profile right why because we want the user to update um, his um, basically like his um, put the picture etc you know mm. yeah and then here else template the template is under red registration registration sign up oops dot html then here we pass the con context okay 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 now let's Oh, this is for the password change. So for the password change, we need to, let's import the data from Django dot, um, let's put it here to have like the things separate. From, oh, we need to import the, yeah, the model for the, here, let's import the models from, Models import user because we're creating a user here and then I right here from decorators import login required and then here on top of this one we put um login require that's for the password change right because we want the user to be locked right so password change request so user will be equal to request user right if request that method equal post form and here we import the yes we import the change password form let's put it here change password form request that post okay if form that it's valid 
put the name the new pass new password equal to form that clean the data get new password so here we just um, yeah we said user that um, said password and then we just pass the new password right and then user that save so after we save uh, we change the password we want the users to basically like log out all the the sections that are currently like locked so so here from Django that country that all import update section of hash so here we copy this one um, here after the save and then here we just pass the request and then the user All right okay so after we save the path we change the password we want to redirect the user to change oops change change um change pass oops change password done All right to this URL change password done okay else form will be equal change password form and then inst instance user right and just in, just in this one okay um okay same thing we can just copy this Paste it over here. Okay, and then we put the registration. And so this um, template is for the change password here. What is it? Yeah, here, change password. So change underscore password HTML okay if we change the password correctly so um, we need just to change the oops so now let's create a new view let's call it password change done this is a basically it's going to be this is going to return the um, a static template there that we have, remember? Yeah, it's just render re oops, request registration registration and then change password done change password done that HTML right um, yeah we have the change password done now let's go let's create a new view this is for the edit profile right okay let's put the login require of course edit profile request oops request and user will be let's get the user and then let's get the ID here right yeah. so and why the ID because we're going to search profile oh we need to import profile let's go here front healthy dot models import profile Okay, profile, 
that objects that get user ID will be user, right? Um, if request that method that oops equals post and then equals oh we need to import a form let's come here edit profile form paste it over here paste it over here request that post and remember that we're like sending a file so we need to put request that files because we're sending a picture right this is very important so if form that is valid then here we profile that picture will be form that clean data get picture okay um, let's copy this profile picture first name first name last name last name location location file that URL form that clean data get URL profile that profile info get profile in these are the profile fields okay um yeah we just save that and return we redirect the user to let's put the index for now okay so here Oops, else form will be equal to the form. So the context, oops, context form form return render request. And then here we put oops registration we put the oh no because um um let me see registration we have the mm, yeah we don't have the edit profile I think I haven't created yet. Let me see. No, we don't have it. Let's just put it in the profile. Okay. Um yeah, I did um profile that HTML and then here the context. Okay. Um let's save that. Mm-hmm. So um, we we are missing the edit profile um, um, like HTML. So basically, just close that and let's go ahead and create it here. Um, edit profile that HTML. Okay. Let's copy. Oops. Uh, hmm. Find the 
templates. Let's copy. I don't know. Let, yeah, let's copy this one. Paste it over here. Okay, center line. So we're sending a picture. So it's very important that we put um, NC type. We put multi part slash form data. Okay. Here, let's put edit, edit profile. We don't need this. So, um, so for the thing here, let's put, um, this is a file field. Um, file field input field okay um, here let's put this one here class this is a button so put it in here and then for um we can put a title here and do their file form picture because that's for the picture let me see yes this close here and let's delete that one um put a div here this is from the this is a, a file input and this is from the from the materialized thing the class file path wrapper if you go to the um, forms inputs check the yeah you see so we can just let me see um, let's just copy this and paste it over here yeah okay save okay that's for the file now here, um, we can just divide this in six, so we can put um, form first name, first name. Copy this one, paste it here. Last name, last name, last name. Um, we can put a, we can put a tiny icon here, right? Class material icons. This is like prefix. This is the icon, like uh, accounts hard code that we used before. Yeah, let's just put it here. Um, save. See the first name, last name. Um, let's copy this one, paste it here. Let's change this one to 12. Um, the location. Right, oh, we don't need an icon now. Let's 
location. Um, let's copy this one. Location and URL. Oops, URL, URL. Just copy, paste it over here. And this is prof, oops, profile info. Let's put bio here or about, right? La, 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 la. Here, let's put um, update. Okay, save. Yeah, um, we have the. This is for edit profile that we forgot <laughs> that we forgot to set. So um, to create, sorry, let's go. Now we have our views. We can just go here. Let's create a new file. Let's change this to um, let's say that like URLs because we want to set the URLs with our new views, etc. So from Django that URLs import path, right? And then views input import. Um, let's go here. Let's first it's called sign up and then password change and then password change done and then edit profile. Um, and we want we want to call the the default views for um for the logging logout etc. right so from Django that contrib that import views we're calling all the views let's put it like out views right. Yeah, so now here we go. URLs patterns be equal. And now we can here construct our um, URLs, right? So path. Let's start with the profile edit. So profile edit. Here we put edit profile and then the name be edit profile, right? And then path, oops, sign, sign up, oops, sign out will be the sign up is from the auth views, so yeah. So login, um, sign up. No, because for the sign up we have the, yeah, we have the view here. Sorry, I got confused. And then name, sign up. Okay, let's remember to put the comments always. Okay, that's for the sign up. Okay, now login. And now here is when we call the login view dot as view. So now here we pass the template name. So we go template name will be equal to Login. That's the template. That's that's our template name. Okay. So now here name, of course, login. And our 
path log out and then same thing log out view dot as view here same thing template name no because for the for the logout we just um basically we want to um say yeah here we just pass um here we pass the next page so after the logout we want to redirect it let's put next page we want to redirect the user to index right oops this is a string yeah and then the name logout this is for the logout so next page like whatever you put here in the of course it has to be an uh, a URL name of course it will take the user to the index um, after logout we, you can put login actually because we want to take the user to the login after logout okay um, now path um, change change password so um, password change from our view and then here we set the name um, change password comma path um, change password that's when we finish changing the password let's put change password done and then here password change done name password um, spit change password done let me check the view just a change password done change password yeah okay come on here path now like for the password reset for password reset and then here we call auth oops auth view oops use that password reset view just like that as view comma and then we put name the name of the URL is password um, reset um, password reset done that's when it's completed so auth view that oops password change um that's for the password uh, password reset view password no it's not change it's password reset done that as view it gets a little confusing when you have like all of these thing um, password reset underscore done because you have like all of these stuff that looks alike so but that's what we're going to test it after right <laughs> password reset um, and then I like, hear because that's when, when they click on the password reset. So here we want to pass the hash UIDB64 and then the token, right? Oops, the token 
just like that. Um, so here, put out views dot password reset confirm view dot as view. Okay. So the name will be password underscore reset underscore confirm. Okay, comma. Okay, another one. That's when it's completed. So let's put password reset complete. So here auth views dot password reset complete view dot as view. These are long names for view. <laughs> Comma name password reset oops underscore complete. Comma. Woof. Yeah. All of these are the views. You can look for the name of I mean all like all these views like all views you can see in the documentation what is it about but yeah I didn't create I didn't create all these views these views are in the in the authentication system that comes with Django all of these come from with Django so this one are the, the ones that we created okay um um yeah let's save and then let's see if it's it's running so um let's include our new urls here um let's copy this one actors let's put um Count and then you can just put whatever I put a can, I don't know. Yeah, and then let's save that. Also, well, uh, let's go and um, three. Um, oh, yes, ha <laughs> ha, I have a typo here, sorry. <laughs> For loading, no, 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 no. Mm -hmm. It has no attribute, password, reset done. Let me see, pass, oh, pass, password reset done, oh, I forgot, view, let's save, let's check, yes, yeah, <laughs> so make sure that you type this correctly, if you don't have a type or something, so, um, this is working, I think, we just need to go, here, let's put account and then sign sign up. Mm, and we're getting an error here. Um, oh yeah. So let's go to the forms. Um, of course, a typo. Let's fix that. And let's save. Okay, and let's try again. Here we go. Okay, now we can just start creating accounts. Um, I don't know, let's put another uh, Tony Stark. Tony Stark at email.com. Tony 
Stark. Let's set a password. And yep. It's working perfectly. Just taking us to the edit profile right now. Um, here we can um, but we need to check which user is logging. So let's no. Because when we create let me check. Because we don't know if it does the admin, that's the thing, yeah. Let's log out. No, um, let's go to the settings. Because now um, we need to set the... Yeah, let's go to the settings. Let's go to the bottom. We need to set the email. The static for email, like login redirect URL. So, so after the login, we want to take the user to the index. Okay, and when they log out, when they log out, we want to take the user to login, and we need to set the email backend um, it's I have it here let me just type it let me see core that mail that that cans that console that email back backend this is for this is for testing only. If you want to set up your server, you need to set up like a CMTP um, on your server. This is just to run it on your local computer for development purpose, okay? Um, and so yeah, we don't have a, we don't have any user. Let's create another account and let's see. Let's see Bill Gates. <laughs> yep. Bill Gates. And yeah, um as expected, the user is not logging. So here we can change. Oh, I thought my computer froze. So um, on the views here, we can change edit profile to login. So we don't have like that problem. Of course, let's create another user. Barack Obama. <laughs> oh, um, let's go to the URLs. Yeah, so yeah, here it's supposed to be a registration because that's where the template is in this folder. So let's save that. Let's refresh. And yeah. Okay. Yeah, the user is logging. Let's log out the user. Okay, let's, yeah, as you can see, well, after you log out, it takes you to the login. Um, let's change the password to this user. Let's see if it works. Change password. Let's see if the if the test works. So let's put a fake password here. 
it should tell me like that the password that's not the old password yes it's working let's put a new one yep now let's request a reset reset password let me check i think i use in uh, oh password reset password reset and here um what was the email yeah bill gates that email .com. let's check request code and yeah so we should get the yeah it is the email so we can now copy this this is an in our console let's copy that oops let me see if it works and then let's paste it here yep and now we can set a new password and we can sign in now so yeah um so yeah everything is working with the uh, with the authentication system um in the next video we're going to work with the profile and the rest of the rating etc thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye